Do you ever wish you could just change your wall art? Well, unless you're talented enough to paint some Star Wars scenery into the landscape, you're probably just gonna get rid of it and buy something new. Well, that's why I like LEGO's art lineup so much. If you get tired of the first thing that you build, you can always turn it into something else. And you can always change it back later. Unlike that Death Star that you mistakenly painted on that classic work of art. However, the problem with the Hogwarts art set is that you're probably not just going to defect from your house to sport a rival faction just to spruce up your living room. At least, I've never heard of any inter-house transfers. Well, the good news is with this set is that there are a lot of options you can turn it into. I've already made a world map, an avatar world map, and a Mickey and Minnie art set. And today I have my newest creation, the Lego logo. This alternate build uses only the pieces from the original set and doesn't need any extra parts. If you like this version, I made some free instructions for you that are available on Rubricable. Check the description or comments for a link. The instructions include handcrafted paint by numbers style diagrams that make it easy for you to assemble the Lego logo. Lego logo, Lego logo. Oh, here it is. I think it turned out pretty great. Obviously, if you have some extra white or dark red studs, you can fill in those gaps, but considering I'm only using the pieces from the original set, I think it's not bad. Now, I bet some of you out there would like to display this in your own LEGO room, and if that's the case, definitely check out those instructions, and I hope you have a great build.